Hi everyone, welcome back once again. My name is Dolat Hussain. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can import your all existing contact in Send in Blue. So to do that, all you have to do is simply click on contact. Once you click on that, you will come to this page. As you can see, we have already one contact in our Send in Blue account. And this is our own email ID, which we use to create an account in Send in Blue. So for importing contact, all we have to do is simply click here, import contact, and you will come to this page. And here you will get two options to import your all contact in Send in Blue. One simply copy and paste method. And the other one is use Excel file dot csv or dot txt in these format but here in this tutorial i am going to use this excel file format because when you import contact in email marketing software you have different parameters like you have first name you have second name you have email id and sometimes you have ip address if you are switching from one email id platform to other you will get all these data and you don't want to miss any of this data because this data is very important for making your email marketing campaign very effective i will show you the advanced feature of importing contact so to import a contact you have to simply click on this and here we have to upload our excel file but you have to make sure that your excel file should be in these three format csv xlx and txt any of this format you can use it for uploading your excel file so click on this and from here you have to select your file wherever you have saved your file in your computer you have to select from here So once your file is uploaded successfully, you will able to find all your contacts right here. Like how many contacts you have, that's all contact you will going to find it out. As you can see, I have three parameters. I have emails, I have first name, I have last name. In your case, you can even have IP address and some tag as well. It's depend on you that from where you're getting the data. And once you are okay with all the data here, simply click on confirm file. This is very important, data mapping you have to do some important setting here. When you upload your all contact through Excel and whatever parameter you have in that file, you all able to find it right, right here. As you can see, I have three parameters. So the email ID is already detached by the software, but here we have to select the first name and last name manually because sometimes it detach the data, but sometimes it not. So it's, you have to check it always when you're going to confirm your mapping. So simply select here, first name here last name and just click on confirm mapping once you confirm your mapping now send in blue will ask you to confirm your email list that where you want to save your all contact in which email list or in which email folder so as you can see we have already one folder and we have one account one email id in that folder and this is our email id which we had used for creating an account but here i'm not going to use this folder i'm going to create a new list for all these contacts why because when you run email marketing campaign in any email marketing software at a time you run different email campaign so it's for your understanding that which audience you are sending your emails, you have to make a list. You have to make a different list according to different audience. So it's become very easy for you to understand and see the data that which email campaign is performing better for you. So here are the target audience and all the email IDs related to muscle gain. These people, these email IDs have interest in muscle gain. So I'm going to create a list with the name of muscle gain so all you have to do is simply click on create list and from here you have to give the name of the list gain and here you have a option of creating a separate folder or you can keep in the same folder so it's all up to you i just recommend you to leave at it is and just click on create list and as you can see our list is created successfully now i'm going to import and save all the email ids which I have imported through CVC file in this folder. So for confirming that, simply click on confirm your list. And here we have to do some important setting. As you can see, this already checked. That's mean that whatever contact you have imported into this send in blue account, if you have any pre-existing contact in this account, it's going to update those data. But uh, this account is totally brand new. So whether you just make it uncheck or check is not going to do any changes in the data because we don't have any data in our send in blue account because it is the brand new account so just leave it at it is and just click on confirm and just 
confirm import and now it will take a little bit time as per the data that how the big data you have if you have a lot of data it will take a little bit more time so as you can see i have successfully imported all my data into send in blue account so this is how you can import all your existing contact in send in blue if you are switching from one email marketing platform to other this is how you can do that you can also go with copy and paste method but when it's come to importing different parameters different attributes in that time it, sometimes it's become very difficult and sometimes give you a, an error so i would always recommend you to go with this method it will accurately import all your data very successfully so this is how you're going to import your contact in sending blue account so i hope this tutorial is helpful for you in the next tutorial i'm going to explain you that how you're going to design your first subscription form in sending blue no matter what goal you have what audience you are targeting I'm going to explain everything that how you can design your subscription form and what are the things you have to keep in mind? What are the important settings you have to do in that subscription form so you can generate more lead and whatever your end goal, you can able to run that campaign successfully. So don't forget to watch that video and that I will explain you that how you can create your subscription form in Senate Blue. So see you in the next video.